C ORM is a synchronous ORM in Rust. We can use it to interact with the database. Let's use it to connect to the SQLite database. In Cargo Runtime file, we need to add dependencies Tokyo for synchronous runtime and C ORM. We will add features SQLX hyphen SQLite so we can use C ORM to connect to SQLite database. Then runtime Tokyo. We will use Tokyo for asynchronous runtime. First, let's in our SLC folder create a new file. Let's give it a name user.rs. Then let's add this file as a module to our project. So we'll add a mode user. In this user.rs file, we will create a entity. First, let's import C ORM prelude asterisk and let's create a struct type we must give it a name model and we also need to make this struct to be public so add a public keyword then let's add an attribute for this model we will add a derive colon debug partial equal equal derive entity model so this model will be a derive entity model then let's also add another attribute will be crm let's specify the table name so table name equal to user so this model will use for users table in database. Let's add a field ID. Let's give it a type of i32. Let's add another field name. Let's give it a type of string. Then let's add an attribute for this ID field. C or M. We will give it a primary key. So this ID field will be primary key. And uh, we also want uh, this ID field uh, will be automatically increased. Uh, let's also add a uh, default uh, attribute. Uh, so we can use the default uh, function automatically insert a uh, value for this ID field. Uh, here you can see we will get an error tell us can't find the type uh, relation. And uh, the trade bound active model behavior is not uh, implemented for the active model. So let's create our enum type. Uh, we will add a uh, public keyword. Uh, to make it a public uh, public enum, it name need to be relation. We will not add any relation to this entity, so this enum will be empty. Then we need to add attribute derive debug colon, and we must add a enum iter and derive relation for this enum type. Then let's implement a IMPL active model behavior for active model. So you can see we will get rid of that error. We just uh, create a entity for the user model. Then let's go back to main.rs file. First uh, let's add an attribute uh, Tokyo main for the main function. So let's add a async keyword for the main function. So this main function will be a async function. Let's create a connection to the SQLite database. Let's create a variable, give it a name, connection equal to, we will call database import from CORM, connect function. Then let's pass a value will be SQLite colon slash slash. Then will be the database files pass. Let's give it a pass name db.sqlite. So it will open the db.sqlite file in our project folder. If there is no db.sqlite file in our project folder, it will create a db.sqlite file. Let's also add a mode read and write C. Let's call a waiter 
to handle the future and the wrapper to handle the result. Let's get the database backend from its connection. Let's create a variable db back and equal to connection the get a database backend. Then let's create a statement. Let's create a variable statement equal to we call statement from C or M statement from string to create a statement. First argument we will pass this db backend. Then second argument we will write a SQL. So we will write a SQL to create a users table. So let's write a create a table users. Let's add a field ID. Type will be integer primary key and the auto increment second field name type will give it a text then let's add a semicolon then let's execute this statement so we will call connection execute we will pass this statement as argument then we will call await to handle the future and unwrap to handle the result. Then let's import a active model from this user.is file. So here we will call use user active model. So when we create this entity, we add this derived entity model. So it will create an entity and an active model. So we can import a this active model from this user.s file. Then let's give it uh, another name as user model. We we'll use this user model to create a new user. So here, let's create a variable, give it a name user1 equal to, we will call this user model and the uh, name field, uh, we will give it a value we call site method from active value import from CRM and to set a value to this name field. Let's give it a name gym the to string. Then we will call the default default function to automatically generate an ID for this user one. Then let's insert this user one to the database. We will call user one the insert. Then we'll pass a reference to its connection as argument. This connection we connect to the database. Then let's call await to handle the future and unwrap to handle the result. Let's copy this to create another user. Let's change this variable to user two name value change to him. Also, ID will automatically generate. Here, we will call user2 insert. Then, let's select all the users in the database. First, we need to import an entity. So, here, we will use user. From this users, we will import an entity. Let's give it another name, user. So, we will import an entity from user.is file. And we will use this user entity to find uh, all the users in the database. So here, let's create a variable with the name all users equal to, we will call user find function. Then let's call all. It will find uh, all the users from database. Then we will pass a reference of this connection as argument. Then let's call await to handle the future and wrap to handle the result. Let's print out uh, all the users. All users. All users. Let's add an uh, empty print line. So we can add an uh, empty line between each printer. Let's find the specific user by ID. So let's create a variable, give it a name u1 equal to we will call user find by ID. Then let's pass an ID. Let's give it a value one. Then we will call 
one miser 的 to only find the one person. Then we will pass the reference of this connection. Then we will call await to handle the filter and wrap to handle the result. Then let's print out uh, this u1. So here let's change to u1. Here u1. Let's delete uh, this u1 user from database. So we will call u1. You can see this u1 type is option model. So we need to first uh, call a wrapper to handle this option. Then we can call delete method uh, on this u1. Then let's pass a reference of this connection. Then we will call await to handle the filter and a wrapper to handle the result to delete uh, this user 1. Let's select uh, user 2 and uh, update the uh, user 2. Let's create a variable, give it a name u2 equal to. We will call user find by ID. We will pass a value ID2 the 1. We will pass a reference connection as argument. Then we will call await and unwrap. And you can see this will be option. We will call a wrapper to handle this option. Then we will call into method to convert uh, this model to this active model user model. So we will give it a type annotation user model. Here let's add a semicolon. And uh, we also need to add the mute keyword in front of this U2 variable. So we can mute it, uh, this U2 variable. So U2 the name, let's give it a new name. We will call site method from active value. Then let's give it a new value on the da to string. Then we will call u2 da update. Then we pass the reference this connection as argument. Then await to handle the future and wrap to handle the result. Last, let's select all the users from database again and print out all the users. So we just can copy this code here and uh, paste it here let's run our code in terminal let's run cargo run first you can see it will generate a db.sqlite file for the database in our terminal we first uh, insert uh, two users to the database so you can see first uh, we select uh, all the users and the first user id is one name is jim second user id is two name is pam then we select a specific user by ID1. So it will be ID1, name is Jim. Then we update the user to change its name to Andy and select all the user. Then we also remove the first user from the database. So last time we select all the users from database, there is only one user. Its ID is 2 and the name changed from Pam to Andy. This is how we use CRM with SQLite database. Hope to see you next time.